Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have t to the power of 4 plus t square equals to 20 and we solve this problem for the values of t. So you see that this is fourth order equation. It means that this equation has four roots. So now we find all that four roots of this equation. Uh, so here first we need to break the right hand side of this equation. So it is 20. We rewrite this 20 as t to the power of 4 plus t square equals to we write this 20 as 16 plus 4 16 plus 4 becomes 20 uh, and now here in the next step we move these two values in the left hand side it will be written as t to the power of 4 plus t square uh, this is plus 16 it will becomes minus 16 this is plus 4 becomes minus 4 equals to 0 and now here we need to make the pair of uh, uh, fourth uh, pair of t4 with 16 and t squared with 4 it will be written as t to the power of 4 minus 16 and plus t squared minus 4 equals to 0 so now here we rewrite this equation as in this form we write t to the power of 4 as t squared and its whole square we write this 16 as uh, uh, 4 squared into this is uh, uh, we write this equation as t square minus we write this 4 as 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0. Here we need this nice uh, algebraic formula you know about this formula if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So here we apply this formula on both of these factors. In this case, we have our a is t square and our b is 4. In this case, our a is t and b is 2. So, we will apply uh, the uh, blow formula on the above two uh, uh, factors. So, it will be written as when you can apply this formula here, it will be written as a minus b. Here, our a is t square minus b is 4 and a plus b is t square plus 4 and plus here we can apply again this formula it will be written as t minus 2 times of t plus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here uh, we uh, need to again apply uh, this formula on the first factor again because we rewrite this as t square minus we write this 4 as 2 square because t square minus 4 equals to t square minus 2 square so we will again apply this formula on this term and it will be written as t square minus 2 square equals to t minus 2 times of t plus 2 into here you have t square plus 4 and plus here we have two factors t minus 2 times of t plus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here in the next step we need more simplifications. Now we focus on these two terms. So you see that we have t minus 2 be the common factor uh, and t plus 2 uh, also be the common factor so that we will take common here t minus 2 into t plus 2 so when you take common these two factors the remaining terms will be written as here we get t square plus 4 and here we take common both of these terms and we get only 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here we divide this equation into the three cases so that the first case is we take t minus 2 equals to 0. The second case is we take uh, t plus 2 equals to 0 and the third case is we take t squared plus this is 4 plus 1 equals to 5 equals to 0. So we divide our bar equation into these three cases. Uh, and now here uh, from first case we easily get the value of t equals to 2 uh, this is the first uh, value of t and here in the second case we move this plus 2 to the right hand side it will becomes t equals to minus 2 and here in this case when we move um, this 5 to the right hand side it will becomes minus 5 now in order to find the value of t we will take the square root on both of the sides of this equation these two and square root are gone and we will obtain here t equals to uh, 
plus minus here we break the square root on both of these values it will be written as square root of 5 into square root of minus 1 so we obtain our t equals to plus minus square root of 5 into minus 1 square root equals to iota these are the two complex roots of the given equation we have these are the two real roots and these are the two complex roots of the given equation so these are the total four roots of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify these roots is these roots are satisfied over <clears throat> given question statement or not so that for uh, verification we copy down given question statement here so our given question statement is t to the power of 4 plus t square equals to 20 here we first substitute t equals to 2 so when you can substitute t equals to 2 it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 square equals to 20 so here you see that 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 and 2 square equals to 4 and this whole equals to 20 this shows that 20 equals to 20 so this shows that the value of t equals to 2 satisfied uh, this given equation similarly you will uh, verify you will verify for t equals to minus 2 when we will substitute t equals to minus 2 then our uh, this equation is written as minus 2 to the power of 4 plus minus 2 square equals to 20 so again you see that uh, minus 2 to the power of 4 also equals to 16 and this minus 2 square equals to 4 equals to 20 so here again uh, t equals to minus 2 also satisfied the given equation so first two roots satisfied the given equation now we will verify these two roots so now in order to find uh, verify the complex roots we will substitute t equals to plus minus square root of 5 iota uh, into the given equation or uh, this equation uh, so when you put this value of t here it will be written as plus minus square root of 5 iota and its exponent is 4 plus plus minus square root of 5 iota and its whole square and we check that is this equals to 20. So here we need some simplification to uh, verify this result. Uh, so you know that if you have uh, the even power of a negative number it is also equals to positive because here you have negative number and its exponent is even so it will become positive so we can apply this 4 on these two terms it will be written as square root of 5 and its exponent is 4 into iota to the power of 4 similarly in this case we can apply square root of 5 whole square into iota square and we check that is this equals to 20 so here uh, first we break this value and we write it as square root of 5 and its whole square and its whole square we break this 4 in this form we know that iota to the power of 4 equals to 1 and iota square equals to minus 1 so these two and square root are gone and we get 5 equals to 20 this is the our claim these two and square root are gone and here you get 5 square minus 5 uh, and here we check is this equals to 20 or not so 5 square equals to 25 minus 5 equals to 20 you clearly see that 20 equals to 20 this shows that the value of uh, complex value of t also satisfied the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos